Berkeley. 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 Chris Edwards. Berkeley. Berkeley. David Nelson. Speaker, state your name and say, I do solemnly swear. Jeffrey A. Murphy, do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Oregon. And the Constitution of the State of Oregon. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of Speaker of the House. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of Speaker of the House. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. And I know you will. <laughs> So very much that was the easiest election I've ever had. <laughs> I would like to uh, ask the House to find a new order to receive remarks from the Honorable U.S. Senator, Senator Mark Hatfield. My message to you this morning is this. Years from now, Oregonians will not remember how many members of this House of Representatives were Republicans or Democrats. Rather, what they will remember is whether or not you were men and women of goodwill, men and women who put your philosophical and ge geographical differences aside to work together for the betterment of our state, men and women who were Oregonians first and politicians and partisans second. I leave you today with the words of Harry Truman, who was the President of the United States when I took my oath of office as a member of this House. President Truman said, America was not built on fear. America was built on courage, on imagination, and on the unbeatable determination to do the job at hand. What is true of America is also true of Oregon. And my wish for you this January, Mr. Speaker and members, is that Oregonians will always look back at this session and say, here were men and women of courage, of imagination, and of an unbeatable determination to do the job at hand. Thank you. God bless you, and God bless this wonderful state we all are privileged to call our home. <laughs>